Hi guys, this is a, uh, a quick mini tutorial on how to sort of um, optimize a sculpt. Um, but instead of using ZBrush to do it, um, what we're going to do is we're going to get it to its lowest form using um, Freeform within 3ds Max after taking your sculpt from ZBrush. So we've got this sculpt here. Um, it's sitting at around sort of 6,000 active points which is probably going to translate to about 12,000 tries. Um, we're just going to open it up as it is in 3ds Max and what we should see is when we get inside of 3ds Max um, hopefully it's exactly the same thing but this process is going to be starting from a plane which we're then going to use freeform modeling tools in order to create a smaller version of it um, using a, a tool called step build now step build was sort of introduced with the other graphite modeling tools around sort of the 2009 2010 version of 3ds max and they're really quite useful for for making objects of um, sort of organic nature or perhaps even vehicles now as you can see from the statistics now we're sitting at around 12,000 polys but we want to make sure that we can see how many tries it is because for this part of the assignment we're trying to get it um, really as low as possible so that we can have them repeated so it's in about 12,000 so what we're going to do is I'm just going to scale this object so it's a little bit larger reason for that being is that then we'll have more space to be able to use and we're not necessarily going to be zooming in and out have any uh, difficulty in doing that with the slider so I'm going to create a plane um, and this plane is just going to be one-sided um, just right clicked on both of the toggles in order to do that I'm going to convert it to an editable poly and with that we're going to go up to the free form and we're going to go into paint uh, the poly draw and we're going to select draw on I'm going to say surface, I'm going to pick, and we're going to pick the rock in which we've already got. When we've done that, we need to go back into PolyDraw, select Step Build, um, and then hold Control and Shift. And with that then, we are then enable ourselves to be able to make um, our polygons. And what we want to try and do is loop them as much as possible. So hold Control and Shift and click the previous ones if you click off of them and it will make the next ones. If you keep control and shift selected you'll be able to just do the next two um, so that then you can move around your model but if you come off of them to change your view at any point what you'll have to do is to re-go over those uh, two previous ones um, in order to make the next part of the model um, which might be um, advantageous. But as you can see what it does it takes into consideration the shape of the model and it then tries to replicate as well as it can the surface that is in front of it um, dependent on how many um, polys that you want to draw on it yourself um, so what we do is we take that all the way around the object um, so we have the one loop and then what we can do is gradually um, decide how much detail we want to go in so if we wanted to go a little bit further in to the object then we can certainly do so as well and make these sort of little bits a little bit more um, concentrated in terms of the detail and take more of that detail um, but we want to try and make a low poly object so I'm not too fussed at the moment in keeping all of the detail we're trying to do as good of a job as we can all the way around the model so that they join together What's well, so a good idea sometimes with your pull, uh, with your poly draw, is to change the offset so that it slightly extrudes from the object, uh, making it a little bit larger so you can see it a little bit better on your screen. So you continue that until finally you get to the point where you can join up to the uh, the start. you get a little bit wrong just undo and then you can go back and do the exactly the same thing again so like so
so keep checking your model and making sure that it's all um, coming together and what you should end up with is your topology looking like this.